Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here, and I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. Go back about two years when they all first started parroting this. They used a quote from Wikipedia, which I've got shown below, and I've highlighted the quote. Gravity is most accurately described by the general theory of relativity proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, which describes gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by the uneven distribution of mass and causing masses to move along geodesic lines. Grammar matters. This quote does not say that gravity is not a force. It says that Einstein described it, quote, not as a force, but as, etc. This does not mean that gravity is not a force. It means that Einstein described it differently. I like to give these examples. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is one of the engineering marvels of the world. But if I chose to, I could describe it not as an engineering marvel, but as one of the most important tourist sites on the west coast of the USA. In doing so, it is not suddenly ceasing to be an engineering marvel, nor am I saying it is not an engineering marvel. I am simply describing it not as an engineering marvel, but rather as an important tourist attraction. But that's not what Einstein did, is it? Einstein described it not as a force. So normally it's described as a force. Einstein came along and described it not as a force. So the equivalence here would be the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is known as one of the engineering marvels of the world. Then somebody else like you comes along and says, no, actually, it's not one of the engineering marvels of the world because that's the opposite. If somebody saying it's a force and then somebody saying it's not a force would be the same as somebody saying it's an engineering marvel and somebody saying it's not an engineering marvel. Another example. I could describe Rechi 00000 not as a flat earther, but rather as a mother. In doing so, she doesn't suddenly cease to be a flat earther, unfortunately. She remains both a mother and a flat earther. No, it's like somebody coming along saying Raichi is a mother, and then somebody coming along saying Raichi is not a mother. Or somebody coming along saying Raichi is a flat earther, and then somebody else coming along and saying Raichi is not a flat earther. If somebody says gravity is a force, and then somebody says gravity is not a force, they're saying the opposite thing. You know? You're not saying the opposite thing, are you? No. You're right, grammar kind of sometimes does matter. You know, but like, you're, you're misinterpreting this. We're not the one misquoting, you're misquoting and misinterpreting it. So when it says that gravity is most accurately described by the general theory of relativity proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, which describes gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space time, it's like saying, let's go for one of your examples. Somebody sees me with children and they say, right, she is a mother. And then somebody comes along and says, oh, no, she's not a mother. And then somebody asks, well, what is she then? She's a babysitter. They're not her kids. She's babysitting. That's what it is. That, that's what Einstein says. He says, it's not a force, it's the curvature of space time. So if somebody says, I'm not a mother, what am I then? Oh, I'm a babysitter. And that's what you're, you're misunderstanding here. It describes gravity not as a force. So it would describe me not as a mother, but instead as a babysitter. Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here. And I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. According to the general theory of relativity, gravity is not a force. There are no gravitational fields. Gravity is kind of an illusion. Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here. And I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. Einstein say that gravity is not a force to begin with? Ah, yeah, there's that. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that the effect we call gravity is different from normal forces. In general relativity, space and time are not flat like a sheet of paper, but curved like the often named rubber sheet. 
This curvature is caused by all types of mass and energy and the motion of mass and energy is in return affected by the curvature. This gives you a self-consistent closed set of equations known as Einstein's field equations. In Einstein's theory then, there is no force acting on masses. So if there's no force acting on masses, how can you say that means that there's a force? How can you say that that's Einstein not saying it's not a force when he's saying that no force is acting on masses? If he's saying no force is acting on masses, then he's saying there's no force, that it's not a force. So if that wouldn't be describing it differently, it would be describing it not as a force because it's not a force. Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here. And I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. In old school physics, gravity is a force pulling down objects until another force stops them. But if we trust general relativity, gravity isn't a force. Gravity isn't a force. So how is that saying that gravity is a force again? Yeah, it's not easy. So why on earth would the squirrel even bother falling? The answer, it's following a geodesic, a straight line in curved space-time. Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here, and I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. I hate to say this, but um, there's no such thing as the force of gravity. What? I wish I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, say that again, Marcus. Uh, there's no such thing as the force of gravity. No such thing as the force of gravity now means... There's a force of gravity, apparently. No, they're not the same, are they? Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here. And I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. The reason the bowling ball and the feather fall together is because they're not falling. They're standing still. There is no force acting on them at all. Okay, I want to focus on just one thing here, and I'll start with my comment. All these people who keep repeating gravity is not a force are misquoting. <laughs> oh.